testimony in the field of the Cracker Barrel with Church Chat Granny. We had a very colorful today. Behind the library, we had a demon manifest. And that demon was rebellion and anarchy and chaos. Anytime you read the Word of God, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and joint and marrow, you will have the person's true heart intentions come through. Yeah. And let me tell you what, that person can be quoting scripture he and was. still be filled with the devil. He was. So this is what set rebellion off in this man. Romans chapter 13 verses 1 through 5. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do, do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the, the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Therefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but for also for conscience sake. Say that again. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. So in other words, saints, you got to be subject to the rulers that God put in place. Okay, wearing a mask in public does not mean that you are complying blindly and that you're an idiot, okay? No. God's laws. If you're going to obey God, then you're going to obey God's laws and rules. And obeying means Romans 13, 1 through 5. And whoever posted that they're getting sick and tired of hearing Romans 13, 1 through 5, you have a demon called yes. rebellion Bellion. and anarchy. Until they tell you to break God's law, then shut up and put your mask on or stay at home. The mandate is that you follow the commandments of the Lord. Obey God, not man. But man gives law and order through God because God put them in that position of yes. authority. Yes. And if you're not being told to break God's laws and rules, which wearing a face mask is not breaking God's law, then you have a decision to make whether you're going to obey God or disobey God. Because if you disobey the authorities that he put over you, then you are in rebellion. The demon manifested today for that simple reason. And guess what, saints? You are responsible for you. Whatever decision you make is completely and totally up to you. Make the right decision. Obey the Lord. And if you obey the Lord, you won't have to worry about receiving damnation upon yourself. Do you have splendor? It's sister with a testimony. It's sister with a testimony. Terry, party of two. Your table is coming available. Terry, party of two. And we'll grab some Splenda for you. Okay. In the field. Yeah. In the Civil War. <laughs> yeah. With and Church Chat Granny. And we thank you. Me. Appreciate thank you, you here. At the end of the day, saints, you are the one that's going to either comply with God's law or you're going to disobey right. God's law. That's right. It's not about taking the mark of the beast. No, it's not. If wearing a face mask is taking us to the mark of the beast, you are still going to have to make that decision. Mm -hmm. Obey God or disobey God. Now, when it comes to the mark of the beast, you would be disobeying God yes. by obeying man. Exactly. That's the difference. It's a big difference. What'd you say? There's a big difference. How big is the dif difference, Church Chat Granny? Because 
if you obey the laws of God, you're going to have blessings, protection, you're going to have all your needs met. If you take the mark of the beast, you're not, you're, you're going to, you're going to hell, you're going to die. So, what's the difference between wearing a face mask and compliance with God's law, which is me obeying? Because the blessings, we want, we want to be blessed, we want to be in obedience. But they can't see that. Well, they that, see that their freedoms are being infringed. Look, my freedom is not being infringed upon. I am making my own choice with free will to decide whether I'm going to obey God or obey man exactly. or disobey God exactly. by disobeying man, depending on the circumstances. Do y'all understand this? No. Or do you have a spirit of confusion? If they, ha if they have a spirit of confusion, that's a demon already. They already got a well, demon. Well, that's demonic. That's demonic. So the spirit of chaos and confusion is demonic. demonic. And rebellion and it, anarchy and it, chaos is, is de rebellion. Yeah. It's demonic. Freedom in Christ is freedom to live for Christ freedom to live through Christ and I have a testimony saints I'm too. going to obey God me too obey God or according to Romans chapter 13 mm -hmm. you will be calling damnation On your, upon yourself. yourself so church chat granny do you have anything to add to that no I think you did good Freedom yeah. reigns. Freedom reigns. Freedom in Christ reigns. It sure does. We don't have any rights, saints. No, we don't. When you say yes to Jesus, mm -hmm. you gave up your rights. Right. Otherwise, you're lying. Mm -hmm. You didn't give your life up. You need to read First John. Read the whole thing of First John because it's about First John chapter three. Yeah, it's about flesh, saints. Yeah. It, it, you're still if you if you can't give it up for the Lord, then you still have a flesh problem, which is not of God. He'll tell you that in First John three. It's so, called it's still called rebellion, yes, saints. Yes. The flesh point is is, rebellion. is that you have to obey God's right. word. And when a demon manifests, because the word of God is being read, mm -hmm. and that person is propagating that spirit of rebellion and anarchy mm -hmm. and chaos and confusion mm -hmm. the word of god is very simple mm -hmm. it will cut to the bone it will and you will manifest you what will. your true beliefs are you will it's either the lord or it's satan Try. i have my freedom in christ yes. i don't have to comply with man no Rule. No, I have to com I have to comply with God's rule. Yeah, authority. Wake up! Seriously, wake up! It's called rebellion, and you're being tested. <laughs> oh, see that? Oh, God is Do testing you your obedience. They're... But He's testing your obedience. He's testing. You are being tested within the spirits that are within you. Ah, so, so if you're upset about it, a face mask, yeah. think about how upset think you're going to be Woo. when the Lord says you have to live holy. Right. Think about how upset you're going to be when the Lord says you have to obey my commandments. Or how how upset are you going to be? Or when He says, you know, I don't no know you. No fornicating. I don't know. No adultery. You. Yes. No stealing, no lying. No drinking. No no what? No drinking. Really? No alcohol. Interesting. Thank you. Well, wow. So you mean not wearing a mask when it's a mandate of man that God put in the position of authority? You mean that's the same as sin? Oh, oh, I just went there. So, not complying with the authority that God put you under is sin. It's called disobedience. Exactly. Oh, well, see, there's the root right there. Your sin has separated you from God. Exactly. See, you have freedom in Christ, but you gave up all of your rights when you said yes to Jesus. Jesus gave up his rights as God and he hung on a cross for you and he shed his blood for you and he shed uh-huh his blood for you his blood bought and paid for you so that means you're not your own 
you are seriously and totally Christ's possession now. Mm -hmm. So why don't you get up and obey God and do what he told you to do? Oh, you're not going to like that. They're not going to like that. No. Why? Because the flesh is involved. It don't feel oh. good. Yeah, because I don't, I don't like wearing this mask. But either. you know what? I'm going to obey God. If I'm outside, I am. And, and why don't y'all ask me why I'm wearing the mask instead of just assuming that I'm a blind, stupid idiot. <laughs> when you assume things about people, mm -hmm. it makes an ASS out of you and me. No, it just makes an ASS out of you. Don't assume anything, saints. Mm -hmm. And if you do, that tells me how mature you are in Christ. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'm enjoying my freedom in Christ. Mm -hmm. With sister, with uh -huh. testimony, mm -hmm. church chat granny. Mm -hmm. You want to pray them out? Yes, Lord. We just thank you, Father God. We thank you for your word, Father, because it is a two-edged sword, Father God. And it does cut to us, Father God. But, you know, it brings us in and it brings us through and brings us out. And thank God, Father God, for your word and for your for your spirit that is within us, Father God, because Holy Spirit will get us through all of this. He will never leave us and he will never forsake us. His word is his word and it's not going to change. And if you read, we thank you, Father God. We thank you for your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Just read. What? Just read. Read it. Read the word.